Hi and uh, welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to widen columns and adjust draw height in Excel. So widen the columns and adjust the row height in Excel. Okay here we are. We are going to be using the mileage worksheet to learn this but let's have a look at the question first of all. Today's question is asking us to adjust the height of row number two so all the data is visible and then widen the columns so that all data is also visible. So here we are, it's asking us to change the height of the row and widen the columns. So let's have a look. We are going to use the mileage worksheet for this example or this learning. Now the first thing is asking us to do is change the height of row number two. Now you can see that the text in row number two is not fully visible, cannot be read. So you know if you did not change the height you wouldn't be able to read it correctly and your spreadsheet would not look professional. There is a few ways of changing the row height and widening the columns but I'll come to that in a minute. Let's have a look at the columns. You can see the columns are also not widened. You can't see all the text fully within the column itself. So that's something else we need to also widen. If you look at this label here, um, it says I can just about make it percentage cost is not fully visible or within the column F. And now let's tackle the height of the row first of all. So the best way, I repeat, the best way to change the height of the row is by moving your mouse under the row number that you want to change the height of. I repeat, under the row number. If you do it above the row number, which in this case above row number two, it will not work. So you need to make sure your mouse is directly under the row you want to change the height of. And the best way to do this is simply move your mouse there and double click, just like so. And what Excel does, it automatically changes the height for you, making sure that the text or the contents inside are fully visible now. Just like you can see row number two, the actual height of row number two is just enough for you to be able to read the text inside. So that's how you change the height of the row. Now coming back to the columns, again the similar or the same method I would recommend. This is the best method I choose. So again, if you move your mouse in between column A and B and double click, it will change the width of the column. Again, between B and C. Again, it's always after the column. So if I want to change the width of this column B, I need to make sure my mouse is clicked in between the line B and C. In another words, after the column B. So I'm going to double click. Okay, between column C and D, double click. D and E, double click. I'm gonna leave this one because, but then again, I don't know what's inside. So I'm going to double click. And finally, between F and G, double click. So now every label within my spreadsheet is fully visible, every row and every column. That took a few seconds. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you another method, which is a lot quicker, which uh, would you believe you could do it with literally a single double click of the mouse you could change the width of every single column in this spreadsheet. I'm going to show you. So first of all I'm just going to undo these actions that I have done. 
Okay, here we are. So what you need to do is click just up here, just in this corner, and what Excel will do, it will highlight every single cell in your spreadsheet. And once you have done that, all you have to do is move your mouse in between any of the columns. It doesn't really matter whether between A and B or B and C and C and D, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna do it here. And if you now double click, you're telling Excel to widen every single column in this spreadsheet. So let's see if it actually works. Do you think it'll work? You agree with me, you think it will, fantastic. Happy to hear it. So let's do it. I'm going to double click. Now, can you see column A is widened? Column B is actually widened, it's just the row hasn't. You can't do the row and the column at the same time though, so bear with me. So this is wide enough, this is wide enough, this is wide enough, this is wide enough, and this is wide enough. Now, what you can also do, you can apply the same method to the height of the row as well. So to show you this, I'm going to make some of these other rows a little bit shorter like so. So you can see that the text is kind of overlapping each other. The height of the row is not enough. So again, same method. If we highlight the entire spreadsheet by clicking just in this little corner, you can see every cell has been selected. And again, again, it doesn't matter. You don't need to go in between these rows here. You can just double click between any row like so. And look at that. Excel automatically changes the height of every single row. So that's a great way of changing the height and the width of uh, rows and columns. However, if you're going to use this method that I have just shown you to change the um, height and the width of rows and columns, only do it. And I repeat, only use this method if you want to change the column and the row height for every single row and column. If you want to, if you want to do it just for individual columns or just for individual rows, then please use my other method by simply moving your mouse and double clicking in between the relevant column or the relevant row. Uh, before I finish, there is another method which I personally don't like. However, it is widely used in the IT world. So I am going to show you this. Before I do, I'm just going to undo these actions again. So I can use it as an example. Uh, one more. Okay. So you can see row number two is back to its original state and the columns are back to its original state. Now what some people do is they manually, this is like a manual method, they simply move the mouse in between um, the row that they want to change the height of and what they do is they manually click and drag till they are happy with the height of the row. Similarly with the width of the column they will click in between the relevant column and just drag away till they are happy with the width of the column. Similarly, can you see? Um, now, personally, I don't like this method. Number one, because it takes a very long time. And secondly, I don't really know how much to widen the column. Uh, for example, inside, let's say inside this column, there could be another word hiding after this which i am not aware of so if i just did a manual sorry manual uh, click and drag and i stopped there and there was another word after percentage i wouldn't know unless i double clicked and the computer or excel will automatically widen it as much as required i mean i know in this example there isn't another word but there could have easily been another word there so this is the reason I don't like this manual click and drag. If you are used to this method, I do recommend you stop doing that and simply use the double click method 
just like that and you can see how amazing it is it just does it for you perfectly as much as you as you need so that's uh, going to conclude this lesson i hope you have understood how to widen columns and change the height of the row i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial so please don't forget to like and share uh, with your friends and family and anybody else that you think could benefit from my tutorials please feel free to share it with them because this is one of the main reasons i am doing these tutorials is for the entire world to benefit from my lessons and if you haven't subscribed also please don't forget to subscribe and i shall see you in the next lesson and until then please take care of yourself and i'll see you then goodbye